Hey everyone, in this video we are going to understand that when it is compulsory to put curly braces around the cases in a switch statement in C programming. So let's see. So to answer this question, we have taken the example of a mini calculator program. In this program, we have already seen in our previous video where we explained the switch statement in C programming. So for this program, you can go to that video, you can better understand the program, okay? So here we have just taken the example of this, uh, you can say program to understand our this question, okay? So what is this program doing? So this program is actually uh, showing us the choices like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And it asks the user to enter two numbers on which we have to perform these operations. So let's say after entering the two numbers by the user, let's say five and eight, the desired operation, okay? It is also asked from the user. Let's say the operation that we want to perform on 5 and 8 are, you can say plus, okay? So the addition of 5 and 8 should come as 13 as the output, okay? If you want to perform subtraction, then I will enter here minus for multiplication. I will enter this asterisk for division. I'll enter slash, okay, as the desired operation, okay? Or you can like enter 1, 2, 3, 4 also as the, you can say choice numbers or the desired operation numbers, okay? So let's see. So this was our program okay using the switch case statement in the c programming so we first are the choices okay then the choices we have printed addition subtraction multiplication division then enter the two numbers okay then the desired operation okay and accordingly uh, whatever choice we have entered in this choice variable our switch will take those choice okay it can uh, take like plus minus subtract or you can say multiplication and division okay so uh, the choice variable is like a character variable okay so let's say if we put plus then the case plus will be matched and addition will be printed if choice is minus then a minus b will, will be printed okay and for multiplication this multiplication will be printed and same way for division we have to perform division okay it will perform division and print the question okay and default is if we enter some another operation let's say if we put let's say not equal to sign okay but not equal to sign uh, we are not handling in this program okay so that will go into default and it will say okay uh, please enter the right choice okay so actually this program is working perfectly okay so let's me run this program so here you can see it is asking for the two numbers okay and these are the operation that we can perform so let's say i enter let's say five okay and the second number is eight okay and the desired operation let's say i want to perform plus that is addition and after entering it says addition of 5 and 8 is 13 okay and i can enter uh, float numbers also here you can see a and b are float type numbers also okay so this program is working perfectly fine so accordingly this program will work perfectly on the other operators also like minus multiply okay so basically what i want to tell you is here you can see we have said case plus okay and we have directly printed the addition of the a and b okay we have directly printed a plus b and whatever answer will come it will be pasted here okay the same way for a minus b we have directly subtracted a minus b we have directly subtract uh, multiplication okay we have also done the multiplication directly a multiply b division we have directly done so what do i mean by directly so basically there is another way to perform the addition also that is i can take a third variable let's say sum okay and inside sum i can say okay a plus b okay so inside sum my answer is there and here what i can do instead of this a plus b i can now write sum okay so logically this is okay because uh, a plus b i am storing the answer inside the sum and then i am printing the sum variable right so uh, some person can make this program also right so let me run this program and see whether this program is working fine or not okay so let me run this so here you can see we are getting the compile time error okay that means compiler is showing me the error a label can only be a part of statement okay and a declaration is not a statement so that means it is somewhat related to this case label okay so it is saying okay this label okay can be associated with a statement or a, with a part of statement okay with a part of statement okay and declaration is not a statement okay so this int sum it is like a declaration 
it is saying it is not a statement okay it means this program will not be like uh, compiled by your compiler okay same thing we can do here also we can take another variable let's say int uh, subtraction okay or int sub and we can do sub equal to a minus b and same way we can do for multiplication division okay that means that program will not compile okay so what is the uh, like uh, solution for this problem if we take a minus b a plus b uh, directly then there is no problem but when we are declaring a you can say a variable inside the cases then this program is not getting compiled okay and let's say we can have some situation where we want to uh, declare you can say uh, some variable okay inside the cases also then uh, our program inside this switch case will not compile so what is the solution so the solution is you can put the curly braces around this case that means you just you can put curly braces okay this way and you enclose everything inside this curly braces okay you can put this curly braces here also okay it doesn't matter but you put this statement that is int sum okay and this sum is used by this okay and then sum is used by this okay so till the point where this sum is like uh, getting used okay from the point where it is declared you put all the things inside this curly braces now see this program will compile or not see the program is getting compiled right now let me enter two numbers let me enter some different number let's say 6 and 13 okay and this time let's say i want to perform minus that is subtraction so subtraction of 6 and 13 is minus 7 right so answer is perfectly fine right that means this program is getting compiled the same thing you can do for here also okay again in this subtraction cases i have taken a, another variable sub and i am performing a subtraction here and i am printing this sub variable right so here i have declared this uh, variable right and i have not put the curly braces around this statement so again this program will not compile see int sub okay again the same error is coming right so if i put the curly braces okay let's say here okay you can put curly braces anywhere okay just take care of the indentation okay and now see see enter two numbers let's say i enter uh you can say five and then this second number is let's say nine okay and let's say i want to perform any operation okay multiplication five nines are 45 so 45 is coming okay maybe you are not able to see see 45 right that means uh, this program will work perfectly fine you enclose this uh you can say declaration statement inside the curly braces so when it is compulsory to put curly braces around the cases only when you are declaring a variable inside the cases then these uh curly braces are like compulsory to use otherwise your program will not get compiled but if you are not using this uh local variables inside this uh case statements then it is not compulsory okay then it is like optional okay at that time you can just put these curly braces or not it is optional okay but here it is compulsory okay that means if i put curly braces here let's say okay although i have not uh, written any you can say uh, declaration statement like in multiplication okay but that will work perfectly fine okay because it is optional to use here if you are not using any uh, you can say variable okay so here you can see it will compile it will compile right so i hope you have understood that uh, what is the meaning of this putting curly braces around the cases okay so if you have any question please write down into the comment box and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for further notification and do like and share this video among your friend also and i have made a full playlist for the c programming also you can find the link of the c programming playlist in the video description below so do watch the videos in the c programming playlist in the next video we will see that out of switch and if else which one is faster so see in the next video till then goodbye